Hello Pilates instructors. Um, here is today's tips and advice. Um, I've blogged about this before and in case you are a listener and a watcher as opposed to a reader, it's imperative that you hear this information because it's really important to me. When you become a Pilates instructor, it is so easy to start saying yes to everything. And if you read my blog this week, I talk a lot about saying yes when you really mean no, but it can be so easy to say yes to all these clients to help build your business and you stop making your sessions a priority. And that's a bummer because you got into Pilates because you love it. You love how it feels in your body. And at the end of a teaching day, it is just so hard to get on that reformer sometimes and teach yourself. I know today was a struggle for me to get my own self practice in. So what I um, would love to spread and share to you is that when you look at your schedule and I would pull it out right now, put in your self practice and your sessions first. And I really couldn't um, impress upon you more that you should have at least one session uh, a week, but the very least every other week with an actual live teacher who can give back to you so that you can give back to your instructors. Um, get on Pilates anytime. And if you're not there already, it's like $19 a month, $18 a month. Use my code L L O G A N on Pilates anytime.com and you can get 30 days free and you can try out. They have like 2,500 classes for you to try. So at all different lengths and on all different pieces of equipment, and you're just going to feel inspired and given ideas and ready to take on the next day of clients. Um, but if you're telling your clients to do Pilates three to four times a week, then you have to do Pilates three to four times a week. And I'm not saying you have to go take three or four sessions from a teacher, but my goodness, a couple self-practice, a couple from Pilates anytime, and one where someone is just giving you full-on attention because you need that and you deserve that. And it's going to make your teaching better. It's going to make your clients feel better. Your business is going to continue to grow. So if you're watching this going, how is this a tip for my Pilates business? If you stay inspired, then your clients will be inspired. But if you are getting Pilates in your body, it's going to be really easy to be uninspired and exhausted. And then your clients will get un be uninspired. It just feeds. And then you'll start to wonder why your business is dwindling or where do people go and why are you tracking people down? So put your sessions in first, then offer the rest of the time you have available to your clients and then take it from there. But just like I blogged about this week on ProfitablePilates.com, don't start saying yes to things when you mean no. And one of those things is saying yes when you shoot to a client instead of saying yes to yourself. Um, in the notes on this uh, page, I'll make sure I have a link to my blog on self-practice where I had a lots of teachers from all over the world share their experience and also to this week's blog on how to say um, no so that you can say yes to yourself. I'm Lessa Logan, Profit Pilates coach. And if you have any questions on building your business, you know where to find me. Thank you for watching.